So this is the bus. This is the bus that I bought, that everyone thinks I bought as a Christmas present to myself. But it wasn't a Christmas present to myself. I simply, this is the result of many years of planning and uh, I found it on the internet and it was the great vehicle. So I bought it when I bought it. Actually, I played with the outfit for about three months before I bought it. Uh, it's a 1996 International with a carpenter body, 72 passenger, International Diesel. Look at that. A T444E 3800. I have no idea what that means, but it's supposed to have an Allison transmission in it too. So, anyhow, uh, just wanted to go over a few things, show you. It's really in pretty good shape. It's actually in very, very good shape. Uh, Lots of tire tread, no dry rot, nice new tires on it. Uh, we've got excellent tires back here. It's really very, very well maintained, almost over maintained. It's got brand new brake lines, brand new batteries. Look at that motor, oh, oh gosh. Uh, it's got a lot of good going for it. Now it has one little flaw here, and that's this panel right here that has a very poor body putty job but that's all right because i plan on putting in the wastewater tank at this location uh the gray water tank or maybe propane or something like that so there's that uh battery compartment it's just an awesome awesome very well maintained bus. Uh, local Christian Academy. Number 265. And if you've noticed, the number 265 is a bus, and the tag was 61265. So front and back matches. The numbers match. <laughs> All right. Well, anyhow, uh, just wanted to show you my bus. It's not a Christmas present to myself. It's the end of years of planning. This was supposed to be a sailboat four or five years ago uh, and I got old. And now when I get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night I stumble and I fall over and stuff like that so I figure if I did that on a sailboat I'd die. I didn't want to die that way. But uh, So it went from sailboat to cruiser, from cruiser to houseboat from houseboat to motorhome and from motorhome to schoolie. Because really, the schoolie has a whole lot more uh, funk going for it than a uh, motorhome that's 20 years old and everything on it is 20 years old. I bought this for $1,900. And uh, $1,900, I'm gonna put 20 grand into it and everything here will be new. Uh, as opposed to the the motorhome that's 25 years old, everything will be 25 years old in it, or most everything. So we get rid of this, that's the rear heater, and we get rid of that, and we get rid of the nubs on the floor where the seats used to be, and uh, we get rid of these two partitions here, and where these two partitions are, we're going to have smaller wooden partitions. They will go up uh, to the ceiling, and they'll come down and on these two partitions behind the driver's seat and before the door those two partitions there will carry the electronics um, the electrical solar panels on the roof will come down to meters chargers inverters on this panel here behind the driver's seat this one here anyhow uh, batteries will be underneath the kitchenette will be about here. Uh, the head will be right here on this wheel hump. Uh, this will be my bedroom. Uh, look at that, spacious. And the nice thing about it is I'll have a 180 degree view wherever I back this up to, which should be a nice sandy beach. So I'll be laying in my bed, looking out the window at some new beach, hopefully every day. If not every week. That's the plan, is to travel around the North American continent, chasing 75 degrees for the rest of my life. <clears throat> Staying in the warm, 
staying out of the cold. That's my bus. Now that the seats are out, the next pro the next step in the program is to uh, probably take a little bit more metal out of here. Maybe cover over some of these windows with sheet metal. And I don't know. Maybe we'll go to the electric, do the solar panels. We'll see. But more will follow. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year.